I particularly do not train shoulders alone anymore. Really don't even do shoulder pressing anymore, I believe. I would start with like incline cable, but cable stations are a little occupied. So, which is fine, it's okay. So we'll substitute for incline dumbbell. Um, like I said, I have two push days a week. Um, I do keep them mainly more chest dominant for the most part, because I think they, my chest needs to be brought up a lot more. Um, but I always start with either a fly, for the most part, or like an incline fly. Incline is always the priority, because if I start with just a regular pec deck or a fly, the next movement will be an incline of some sort. But even if I start with an incline fly, the pressing movement that I choose next will still be an incline. I feel like incline is what most people lack the most. So, we start with incline. Pretty good. We're about 15 reps. So we'll do another thing here. Try and match it. <laughs> hey! Okay, next exercise is going to be the flex leverage press incline. This is a, a hard find. Not too many gyms have these, so if your gym has one, take advantage of it. This is a beauty. I, I probably won't load this up, to be honest. I probably might go as high as, I don't know, maybe three plates on each side. I want to stay in, like I said, the 10 to 12 rep range with this. So, and this kind of gets heavy fast. I actually probably could do that. I know that looks like weak shit, but I was contracting hard and I already have a good pump, but I will go a little heavy. I'm pretty sure I can get 10, 12. <laughs> I hope so. Anyway. As you can see, it's the same thing, every movement. Slow, very controlled. Nice little pause at the bottom. Get as much of a stretch as I can without you know putting too much shoulder into it. And then explode up. And I almost try to, can't really do it on certain machines, but as if you're squeezing the elbows together, like I talked about on my fly. You wanna bring them together. Same thing on a press. I'm gonna pretend like you're bringing them together and just get that huge squeeze in them. And it sounds, you know, whatever, but it works. All right, so I did nine, um, which is okay. Like I said, I wanted 10 to 12, but the contraction, the squeeze, everything was, what I wanted it to be, so I'm okay with it. Oh. I just got one rep, one rep less than the last, which is fine. So, like I said, incline's top priority, so we are gonna do a third set. I'm gonna lower the weight a little bit. Just so I can get, um, I'll probably end up getting the same amount of reps, honestly. <laughs> All right. Like I said, I'll probably get about the same amount of reps. <laughs> I got 10 there, so that's good. Okay, so third movement will be the last one for uh, chess. We'll do flat dumbbell pulls. Here 
Shabbos. And these are heavy. I hope we're going to get like 12 to 15. Sad. Go a little lighter. Sounds so shitty. 90 pounds, a little lighter. I do, I want to get, like I said, a 12 to 15. I went pretty heavy over there as far as reps. You know what I can't even say heavy anymore. Because I'm, when I compare to used to lift, people are like, hey, fucking heavy. So in terms of reps, I want to go a little lighter so I can hit the rep range I want. People will laugh at this, but they see the chest is improved. That's all that matters. Okay, now chest portion is basically done. Now we'll move on to shoulders. We're gonna start with the side lateral raise. Basically, I'm gonna show you guys how you can construct a shoulder workout doing a push-pull leg split. I particularly do not train shoulders alone anymore. Really don't even do shoulder pressing anymore. I believe doing a high incline, even though it will hit a little bit of upper chest, that will also hit the front delt, which is mainly what we want. I did find over the years for me, too much shoulder pressing created a lot of shoulder uh, issues, so to speak. So for me, since I am more chest dominant, what I like to do is after I train chest, I uh, come over and do shoulders. And no, ma no matter what, even when I started with, um, shoulder, when I had my own shoulder day, I would always start with some sort of a lateral. Some sort of a side lateral, and then I would go into um, a front, front delt or some type of rear. And then if I was feeling good, I would end with a press then. Uh, but now since I really don't do much pressing, I'm only gonna do two to three shorter movements today. We're gonna start with the side laterals and probably even go into some, some type of a uh, shoulder superset, which, which in my opinion, will create big round shoulders. It's just a lot of volume and a lot of blood within there. So we're gonna create a lot of blood right now in the shoulder is what I think works best. Now I'm gonna do a superset with just the barbell. I actually see Mike, Dr. Mike, that is, put somebody through a shoulder workout that I thought, I did this one step this was really, really effective, and you really don't need much weight. So basically we're gonna do the bars, you're gonna lean over a little bit. And right about the nose, you're basically gonna do like a face pull. So it's gonna hit a lot of rear down, a little bit of side. And then once those are possible, you are gonna come all the way up and then upright row until those are impossible. If you do these right, your shoulders should be pretty lit the fuck up, in my opinion. That was pretty much the chest and shoulder portion. Now we're gonna do two tricep movements. Pretty much, this is how I pretty much structure my push-pull legs. Um, push days usually have three chest movements, two shoulder movements, two tricep movements. And then at the very end, I either end with dips, just to kind of hit the whole overall of it all, or some type of push-ups at the very end, just to really finish everything off and fry it. So today, We'll do push-ups since the last push day was six.
working weight there. To end the whole workout, either dips or pull ups. So this week we'll do some pull ups or uh, pull ups, push ups. About two to three sets. Just shy of failure. Create a good pump, good stimulus. And that will end today's push session. All right, so today was uh, you no know, push day, but just so you know, I wanted to make this more of a, a shoulder type thing for you guys, so you know what I think is right to structure a good shoulder workout. You know, I do think when you're just starting out, you know, sticking to the basics is what works. Shoulder pressing, barbell, dumbbell pressing, you know, um, but I think the older you get, you realize you know, you're hitting a lot of shoulder when you hit chest, especially you know, if you're doing incline. You're incorporating a lot of front delt. You know, so I do think sometimes pressing can be a bit of an overkill, um, especially if the shoulders are already more dominant than the chest itself, like my problem. So like I said, the way I like to structure it now is when I do my push days, you know, the main focus is chest. But now that I do shoulder secondary with chest, you know, if you have a strong chest but weak shoulders, I think a good way to program it is a start with a side lateral. I think starting with side laterals are very good to start with, uh, just because I think whenever you go to your pressing movement after that, I think it allows for a better mind-muscle connection. Um, and, and also, side laterals just give a great bump just to start the workout. And then from the side lateral, then I would go into a very high incline to where it's not directly 90 degrees, which I think you know hinders the shoulder a little bit. Well, you do a slight incline to where, yeah, you're gonna get a little incline or a little upper chest, which is fine, but you're still gonna hit mainly the front delt, which is what, you know, we want. And then to the third movement, if you want, you could even do another side lateral at that point. You don't know, ain't nothing better than a good, you know, cat's delt, you know? And then on like your pool days, I would do rear delt on that day. That's just what I prefer. Um, but that, was, that would be how I would structure the pull day um, or push day for uh, shoulder dominance if you need that. But then you could go in, but you can always mix it up. You can start with a side lateral, go into the high incline, whatever chest movement you want, back to a shoulder, then back to a chest. But if you wanna mainly focus on shoulders, I would definitely start with some type of shoulder movement, get the most out of it there, and then go on with the workout. So. Um, I hope this was very helpful for you guys. Um, I enjoy, hope you enjoy these videos as much as I enjoy making them for you. Um, so like, subscribe, and we'll see you for the next one.